All right, everybody, welcome back to our next video about prompt chaining with voice flow. So we've built most of our restaurant app right here. Uh, it's only been a couple of blocks, but we're going to add one final section here to this where we'll be able to confirm an order based on what the customer has said. So let's go ahead and add a listen step for buttons. So what we're going to do is that if a user is going to give us our order, we're going to repeat it back in this previous block. And then we're just going to say, yes, it's right. And then we're going to send it downstream. So let's go ahead and say, add a confirm button. Call this our confirmation. And now we're going to go ahead and add a dev step here, the API step. Now, we're not going to actually send this anywhere, but what an API step lets you do is build an integration. So in theory, we could do something like send an API call to, um, I know what we'd call our restaurant host, but cowboy restaurant.com slash order. All right, so in theory, we could do something like this. Um, I don't actually know if that's a, a real domain. I probably should have checked beforehand. Uh, but this would place a digital order for, for what we wanted. And we could have passed in here our actual data. So we call it order and our structured order in here. And then in, we'd hopefully get our, our food to show up. Um, hopefully that's, that's a real address we'd send it to. Um, send confirmation over API. If you don't know too much about what an API is or what it works, uh, just think about it as, as a way to communicate uh, to another computer service or another program. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, this, is, this is pretty exciting. So let's run this. We're going to get greeted by our restaurant persona. OK, welcome to the restaurant. Sounds great. Uh, what's on menu? They're thinking, I guess there's a new special today or something. Okay, I'll say, how much does the BBQ brisket cost? Okay, that's pretty good. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, I'm ready to order. Okay, so let's say I want three plates of BBQ brisket, some cornbread, and an apple pie. So pretty hungry day for me today. Here it repeated back to us what we wanted. Um, is that correct? That sounds great. And then we can send this off to our confirmation. So that's that, folks. We've successfully built our cowboy restaurant um, that we can now send to our friends for them to, to play around with it. Uh, don't promise that we'll actually send them food. That, that might not happen. But we've learned in this tutorial how to build a fairly sophisticated application uh, with only a couple of blocks here. So. Uh, just take a moment to, to congratulate yourself for making it this far and sticking through the, the series. We'll be doing more videos about prompt chaining and using voice flow for large language models, but that's it for me, folks. See you soon.